Hi there and welcome back to a rather different 32 bit rant thing and today I'm actually looking at like a, a keyboard but not like a computer typing this is probably typing a keyboard but like an actual music one which I've got sitting in front of me if you can hear it so yeah we'll have a brief overview of it first and I'll start playing some stuff to try and show off my fairly limited knowledge of how to play a keyboard First of all, it's important to note this is a Yamaha PSR 520. It comes with a many tones that got frantical checks, the thing to try and find it voice. Right, if we follow this, it's pleasing little turns I'm feeling a tad festive. 149 tones, well 150 because there's a zero zero. As you can see, it's got a thing for cycling through the tones. You've got voice, which can also do it dual voice, you can split it, so you can have like a bass guitar on here and a keyboard and the, like a piano on the other. You've got these selectors, this displays a wee bit dodgy but you can still make out what this is. It's got a cursor, it's got tempo controls, digital effects and so on, it's got buttons for starting stuff. For example, you can start a drum beat, let me set a nice one up. Uh, 16 beat pop. Like that. Um, you can, and for the voice, I could set I go to zero five. You get DX EP. Then if I'm playing Joe voice, this thing really comes alive. Turn off touch response and. You get the idea. So I've got pads over here which make rather peculiar noises. Like that. And it's got a demo mode. Which if I press this button here, it will start playing music. Like that. I will upload like a recorded version of that demo to my website. So now I think it's time for us to start playing things on this. So I thought I might as well start with stuff that I've been recording. I don't actually have names for any of the stuff I've made. It's just like basic arpeggios and other things to make up cool synth sound effects and so on. First of all, my piece started with this. Then I can expand it on it and I went. I, I started messing about with that, right? And I decided I was going to put in the dual voice for the DXEP, which is one of my favourite sounds on this keyboard, and it kind of went like this. up towards like a chorus or something so I went and I repeated that again and then it would go back into and then keep going like that the next move was putting in like a bass guitar so I went to split it and my split instrument was going to be a synth bass so this and I could build it up from there. I decided to activate the sustain and all the other cool effects that you get with this. So it kind of began to sound like this. Thank you. 
And after that, I began to keep building up and eventually I could put in a drum rhythm. So I've got my 16 beat one. I've got the tempo right now, I've not got the tempo right now. But this, 115 beats per minute, I thought was good, so I can do this. Wait. Eh. Uh, sorry, I'm still getting used to this. Right. That's a better bass setting. Or is there a better one? Oh, that's better actually. So that's techno bass. I like that better. So the next method would be employing the the drum over the top and it'd be a bit like this. And an ending and the rest. Like that. And there we go. I've messed about with this keyboard enough, I believe. It's a little shorter than what was expected, but here we are. That was the Yamaha PSR520, which has other features which I'm sure I'll talk about in a future video should you like to see that. This is just a quick one. Thank you for watching and Good night, good evening, whatever it is, wherever you are.